Look, it's a bird. No, it obviously is of course PowerPoint. Let us open up the next section where I will introduce you to some beginner workflow and useful tips around PowerPoint. I've opened up PowerPoint and I can either click to add a new slide or I can go to File, New and choose a blank presentation to create my presentation from scratch. I do not recommend those templates because people have used them one million times, they are often used, they don't look professional and at this point I think they are all outdated. So let me start with the blank presentation and talk a little bit about our working area. The area with the white background is exactly our slide. Once I hit a 5 to preview it, this is what is visible once the presentation or the video is live. Everything around it will be not visible in the presentation but can be used as a for example storeroom or to place items you want to use for later. Each slide we add has its own area. So if you leave something here, you would need to click on it, copy it over if you want to use the same item on the next slide. Ok, I will go into the first slide, I will insert any given shape, maybe a rectangle. By holding the shift key I'll make it a perfect square and now I have a rectangle. I'll press Ctrl C and Ctrl V and copy this rectangle here so half of the rectangle is visible, half of the rectangle is invisible. When I hit F5 to preview the presentation, as you can notice you have half of the rectangle inside of our real area. The half which is outside can stand out as much as we want, it won't be visible. Sometimes if you want to be precise, sometimes if you want to be precise, you can cut down items to fit the slide exactly. Why am I even talking about the working area when it's obvious that this is our slide and everything we place here will be visible? This is because this area around it can be very useful to edit objects. Let me hit the control key or the command key on Mac and scroll out a little bit. As you see, we have plenty of room if you would like to use it. The only problem when you have much items outside of the slide is that PowerPoint is... Overall, PowerPoint has a great feature because each thing we edit, it's snapping automatically to be in the middle, to be placed perfectly. If we have, for example, let me copy it a few times, a few objects, they will snap to each other. We see those little red lines appearing and it makes the editing really easier. But once we have some items outside of the normal working area, they are also snapping to them. Often they are standing in the way, so the less items you have here the better. Try to work inside of the working area and place here things only that will be necessary or try to avoid snapping to them. Eventually you can turn it into your advantage. You can place them perfectly on the top and you will have some sort of automatic guides between them. You will know when you did hit the bottom and when you did hit the top. Well, that's just a random trick you can use inside of the working area. I do not want to drag this lesson out too much. This is it for now. Let us head over to the next lesson.